and welcome back to Bear. I'm Stephanie. Today's video is going to focus on product fails. I have three items that I'm going to be taking back to the store for a refund and I thought it would be great to start doing these series. Well basically whenever I feel that I have an item that just didn't work out for me. Now I am really good when it comes to returning items. I don't have a problem opening my mouth. I, I'm not scared to return items or whatnot. But I do my research beforehand and I also look up swatches and look up some videos and try and decide if that item is good for me before I even purchase. But sometimes there might be something that just has come out at the store. I mean, we've had so many new items in the beauty department that has come out. And sometimes, you know, it's really difficult. There may not be uh, multiple videos already up on YouTube. Also, there may not be any blog stories and a lot of swatches. So it's a lot of give or take. For my purpose of this video, um, what I purchased at the drugstore is fairly new. Unfortunately, they just did not work for me. So before I return them, I wanted to go ahead and give you a heads up as well. And maybe if you were in the market to look out for them and wanting to purchase them on your own, maybe this video would help you. The first item I will be taking back to the store is the new Maybelline foundation and it is the Fit Me Matte Formula Foundation and I've already returned it to the store so I don't have the actual bottle to show you. So I will insert the picture, that's what it looks like. And I got the color shade of 330. Now when it comes to the Maybelline foundation family of products, I should have known better that this foundation would would just be like any other color foundation that they have. They really do not have a shade that matches, in my opinion, people with warm skin tone. Correction, let me go back. Women of color with warm skin tones. The color selection when it gets down to the deeper shades is very limited. I should have known better, it just didn't work. It's gray cast tone on my face. And that's the problem with the Maybelline foundations that I have found. It's either a gray cast or it's just really dull looking, just almost in a sense of a pale overtone on my face. And that's pretty much because the Maybelline formulations and their color ranges are geared more towards people, in my opinion, with neutral undertones and pink undertones. The warm group, especially us with deeper skin tones, it's hard for us or we're going to have to start mixing colors and stuff and let's be honest it's 2014 going to 2015 it's not 1994 i'm not mixing 10 bottles together to try to get my perfect foundation shade so uh, unfortunately the color did not match me i went around all day with that gray appearance on my face and you know there's no testers so i got it at cbs had to take it back the second maybelline item that is new is their master conceal and this is by the face studio camouflage concealer so this is very new i just picked this up at walgreens so here we go again with with maybelline look at the packaging the packaging to me this is in the shade 50 medium deep this color to me i thought of as a brightening one because there's actually not a shade deeper than this so i figured that this shade would look great as an under eye brightener it's is the purpose of why i bought it and has that nice spout that i like so i can just pour it on my hand and start you know to blend it in i put this on as you can see it has that pale grayish tone to it. The only Maybelline concealer that I can wear is the Fit Me in the color Cafe. It's actually Cafe is what I have on today. It blends in like a dream with my skin and it's light enough to cover just slight imperfections underneath my eyes but it still also to me has a little bit of a brightening effect. So I don't have to necessarily put on top another brightening concealer or any other type of a heavy duty brightening pow powder. That's why I like the Fit, Me, um, the Fit Me concealer. So this master conceal is going to go back. It is retails for $8.79. The third item that I picked up that is fairly new, I think it's been out in the market for about a week or it, this might be going on to the second week. Now I got this at CVS and at CVS this week, the week that you're actually watching this video, it's 40% off. So I purchased this for 
$7.97 and I also had a $3 off any physician's formula product. So this came down to about $4. So I thought it was a great deal. The claims on this type of product is that it's more of an adult shimmer. We're not talking like, you know, disco ball, little girl, teenager. I'm in my 30s. I'm not trying to rock any of that. Heck, I don't even recall rocking all that heavy formula when I was in my 20s. I just, I guess I've just always been a little mature. According to the packaging, you have like these three custom looks that you can get. You can get a natural, a playful, and a dramatic look. This natural eye look is achieved with this champagne color. You can do up a playful eye with their mid-color shade, which is called Nude. Very similar, in my opinion, to Champagne. And if you want a dramatic eye look, then this shade that they call Mocha is what you're supposed to use. First, I swatched these with my finger, and I thought, hmm, this is awfully glittery, and I can't see the colors in the pan. Then I swatched with a makeup brush, and I got the same effect. This is nothing but just glitter, straight up chunks of glitter cream. And not even cream, at least with cream you would have smaller portions of glitter. This is chunks. This is like costume, theatrical, it's Halloween. There's, they don't look like what's in the pan. They all come out just streaks of glitter and I don't think it's flattering at all. And I think the misrepresentation of it just being a gel cream shadow and a liner, I wouldn't even want to use this as a liner, an eyeliner, because the chunks of the glitter are so separated within the cream that you're not getting an even distribution of shimmer. You're getting just chunks here and there and then just a little bit of color and then a chunk here. So no, this isn't going to work for me. So this is going to go back to the store. So that's it. Those are my three items that have just been my product fails that I've picked up that's new at the drugstore and they're just not going to work out for me. I want to have that show to my viewers that trust and that honesty there too. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. The only thing I sugarcoat is my uh, cream brulee. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I will tell you the truth. If this item isn't going to work, here are the reasons why I feel it's not going to work. Again, they're my opinions. Everybody's different. You might want this. You might not that. But if it might save you the hassle of going to the store, putting down the money, and going through the whole process yourself, to be honest, you know, why go through all that? So hopefully, in this sense, this video has helped you in some way. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day and an evening, wherever you happen to be located and you stopped by to watch this video. I do appreciate it. As always, I'm going to see you in the next video, which is probably going to be a holiday look because I want to bust out my red lipstick. Have a good day. Bye, everyone, in your holiday box. Now, it's a special collaboration with...